Hello, in today's video we're going to be looking at the Excel if function. We will start off by walking through the formula itself and then we'll be jumping into Excel to work through an example. Okay, so let's look at the if formula. The formula is made up of three parts. The first is the logical test. So a logical test is a logical expression that can be evaluated as either true or false. So an example of this could be to compare two numbers. So the test would be is the number two larger than the number one. So obviously that is true. Uh, so that would be a, 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 an acceptable test that we could have used in this first part here. So the second part, value if true. So this is the value to return when the logical test returns true. So having performed the logical test, if it gives us a true result, what do we want the formula to do? And the third and final piece is value of false. So exactly the same principle as value of true apart from this is now what do we want to do if the logical test gives us a false answer and you can see at the bottom of the page there the formula in its entirety so to start off we've got the equal sign and i f for the if formula and then we've got the logical test followed by a value if true and then lastly a value if false so let's look at an example uh, that we can take into Excel and use the if formula uh, to return our desired result. So we've got this guy on the screen, uh, let's call him Tim. Uh, so Tim has some information there around his sales target. So we can see at the top there he's got a sales target of £1,000. Uh, bonus if achieved, so if he sells more than his target um, of £1,000, he will receive a £50 bonus. And then lastly there, so if um, if he doesn't achieve that sales target, then he doesn't receive any bonus, so zero pounds. So the logic being, if sales for the month are greater than the sales target, he gets 50 pound bonus, else he gets no bonus at all. So let's jump into Excel and work through that example. Okay, so we're now in Excel and we're gonna use our if formula to help solve our problem. So just before we do that, we'll just step through everything that we're looking at. So in column B, in row one, we have our current sales target of £1,000. Um, we've got our bonus, if our target is achieved. Uh, and we actually also now have our total sales for the month. So we can see that actually our total sales was £1,100. And then we've got a couple of rows in six and seven. Uh, we'll ask the question of, are the sales greater than the target? And the bonus received in line seven is where we'll be putting our if formula. Just before we get to entering our formula, uh, in columns E to G or E to F at the moment, I've added in the three parts that make up our if formula. So the first part being um, our logical test, uh, what we need to return a true or a false result. Um, value if true so what to do if uh, the result is true and lastly what to do is the result is false so we can just enter these three parts in here so we're completely clear how our if formula is going to be structured so for the first part and we'll start actually using the logical formula that we'll need for this part um, so what we need to do on a logical test is we need to know if the value in b4 what is our sales for the month we need to know if that so let's put b4 we need to know if that is greater than what our sales target is. What you can see is a thousand pound in currently in cell B1. So we can go B1. So that is pretty much the logical test um, needed for that first part. So having got that, we then need to determine what we're going to do if the result is true or if it is false. So if it's true, uh, we know we're going to get our 50 pound bonus. So we can say if it's true, we've done the 50 pound. Uh, and if it's false, um, don't nothing is received so we put a zero in there so this is how our formula is going to be structured uh, it's worth just noting that um, for our logical test we've just entered the full um, our symbol here for greater than uh, what we've got to by holding down the shift key and then pushing the full stop button on your keyboard and um, what gives us the greater than um, symbol uh, you can also do uh, different variations, so if you want to do less than, that, that symbol would be holding down a shift and pushing the comma button, um, or alternatively you could use the equal symbol if you want to see if two symbols uh, or two cells or values were the same. 
Um, but we can go into that into another video. But for the time being, um, we're just going to be using this greater than symbol again, just to repeat myself, uh, was achieved by holding down the shift button and pushing the full stop. Cool. So we've got those three different parts. So firstly, what we'll do is we'll ask, answer this first question in line six. Uh, what just requires us to use uh, the first part of the if formula, what's the logical test? So we literally have that already done in here, in, in column G at the start here. So B4 greater than B1. The only thing we need to do is just add an equal sign at the beginning. And then we can continue to type out as we've got. Um, and actually, we don't even need to type. Because we're using the equal sign and doing a formula, we can actually click and select the cells that we're actually trying to reference. So if we click B4, um, that gives us, obviously, the total sales for month. We can enter our greater than symbol and then select uh, the one in row one for sales target, what is our thousand pounds, and then just hit enter. And you can see it's done that logical test for us and it's told us uh, or returned the value of true, uh, what tells us that um, sales per month is indeed greater than our sales target for thousand pounds. So that's perfect. So we know that that logical test is all working. So what we'll do before we go into any different uh, variations of the information we have there is we'll actually enter our if formula. So to do that we start with our equal symbol and we type uh, the letter I and the letter F for if and you can see that as you start typing it gives you loads of different options or all the formulas or functions you can use um, obviously we're just using if. So to continue we'll, we'll hold down our shift key and do the number nine what gives us an open bracket. So as again the third time emphasize, you can see now um, we're typing in the formula, you can see the three different parts of this if statement. So the logical test, uh, the value of true and the value of false, what we looked at earlier on. And you've also got in front of you now in column E. So this first part here is our logical test, what we've literally just done in row six. So we just need to repeat that. Um, so I'm just going to type it in. So we've got B4 greater than B1. And we know from looking at row six that that is actually going to return a true true result. So what do we need to do if the value is true? Um, so we can refer to our table over here and look in the column G. And we know that if the result is true, we want to display the 50. So what we'll do is we'll type in here five zero. And I did skip over it, but to move on to each part of this after doing our logical test, we need to enter a comma. So as you'll see, I'll put B4 greater than B1 and then the comma to move on to the second part of the formula was this 50. And you can see that now that I've moved on to the stage, this second part for value of true has been um, made bold so that it stands out and that you can reference to see where you are in the formula. So if I now move to the last part, what is the value of false, I hit comma, you can see that the um, value of false is now made bold so you can see where you are. Cool, so for value of false, um, there is no value other than zero, so we can just enter that. And then we will hold shift, number nine, to do our close brackets. So what our formula is saying, if B4 is greater than B1, then display 50 if it's true, else do zero. Cool. So what that tells us is, well, what's happened is we've now got the 50 pounds shown in line seven. Um, so nothing we weren't expecting. Uh, we know that the um, logical tests for the sales for the month were greater than the target. Uh, and because of that, we are going to receive our bonus. So that's quite simple. What we can do to move on from that, though, and to sort of demonstrate if uh, the sales were not greater than our target, is we can just type into this or change the 1100 to a different value. So if we enter in here 900 and hit enter, you can see that um, our if formula and the same with our logical test in row six has now compared and it has said false. So sales for the month are no longer higher than our target, so false. Um, and therefore, because it isn't, we're not going to receive any bonus. So that's where our 50 has now changed back to zero. But let's just change that back to 1100 again, where we were. And we can see now that, again, sales are exceeding the target, and therefore we've got our £50. So we can tidy up our bonus received formula, or our if formula, um, by updating the value that we have in here for what to do if it's true. 
So rather than just typing the value of 50 in there, instead of that, because we have our bonus number or bonus amount uh, if achieved here in line two, is we can remove the 50 from our formula and this time select the cell in which our bonus amount is has been entered. So we've got B2 there and then hit enter. And the formula will work exactly the same now, but rather than depending on us having to put the exact value into our formula, it now just picks it up from uh, B2. So I guess to repeat that, basically what it's doing is saying if B4 is greater than B1, then display the value that's currently present in B2. The benefit of doing that is if we suddenly decide that actually our bonus is or our bonus amount is going to change, so it's now £60 if we uh, beat our target. If we update it here in row two, you can see it will also be updated into our statement as well. So it just saves having to then update that into the formula. So that concludes our look at the Excel if formula. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to drop us a comment below and find links to our Facebook page and website in the description for this video.